Welcome to Tomorrow Tech Reviews. Today we're going to review benefits of AWS RDS proxy and we will test its performance compared to a regular RDS. Let's get started. So what is RDS proxy? The goal of RDS proxy is to manage and scale database connections efficiently. And when can we use it? It's a big win in scenarios like Lambda functions where a lot of short database connection can benefit from connection pooling provided by RDS proxy. It's also ideal for highly loaded applications that can open and close large number of database connections or need uh, to keep open connection for a long period. This all sounds good, but we want to see actual numbers in terms of performance. For this purpose, I will use simple REST API on ECS. I will send a large amount of traffic to API in two cases when API connected to RDS cluster endpoint and when we use RDS proxy endpoint. Then we compare the difference. Let's get started. The test with RDS cluster endpoint has finished. Now let's change connection to RDS proxy. Even our application already used a connection pool in our code, this performance difference is quite impressive. As we can see, RDS proxy allows us to handle more requests with less RDS CPU. When we connect to RDS cluster endpoint, RDS spends CPU resources on authentication and opening and closing connections. When we connect to RDS proxy, it maintains a pool of established connections to the RDS allowing RDS to focus only on processing queries. So should you use RDS proxy in your application? In most cases, yes, but be aware of some RDS proxy limitations. I hope this video has helped you. Subscribe and give me a like.